What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of I Rate Your Club. The last episode of I Rate Your Club was the first of the FIFA 21 series. Uh, and this is a series that we're now going to be running every one, at least once a week at exactly this time per week. So the sun, technical Sunday 3am video um, or Saturday night video, however you want to call it, where I rate your club. If you guys want to get your clubs rated, come make sure you're checking me out on Facebook. Link is down below. There's a schedule on my Twitter as well as for when I'm going to be live. And what we did last time was look at players. Well, I think we did four or five clubs um, and I took uh, a bit too long for my opinion on the club. So this time around, I mostly want to look at the teams um, rather than the full clubs. I, I want to, I, I almost want to make it I rate your team um, rather than I rate your club, but we're going to uh, still have a little look around the club and a, a little look at a few other things here or there. Uh, so if you guys are enjoying the content and you want to drop a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. Um, and uh, let's start with club number one. So we'll start with the squad. And uh, this is a poor man road to glory where he said he's done every objective player and most SBCs. Um, he finishes gold one or two. Of course, I mean, of course you do. That's why you've got Paulinho there. Um, and uh, elite one squad battles. And so you have got a Gulashi in goal. Almost 200 games. God damn. You're using Mukieli. You're using Hernandez for almost 200 games as well. Delaney, 126 games on him. Davies for 242 games. Uh, Ansu Fati, already 195 games on him. Marcus Lorente, first owner, untradeable. Very nice. Uh, Joshua Kimmich in there as well. And Douglas Costa picked up for 500,000 coins. That's a great return on him as well. 141 goals and 98 assists is brilliant. Uh, you've got Jean Felix there that you purchased with a good return as well. And Leroy Sané in there as well, also a purchase. You've then got the, the long card, the Lima. The Witzel SBC, lots of games on him. Uh, Bellarabi in there as well. Ibrahimovic with some games and goals. Koscielny, Florenzi, Paulinho, Dembele and Forsberg there. And Anaki Williams as well. And that is a brilliant return on Anaki Williams too. And then of course, Anderson Talisker. In general, I think the club, the squad is really nice. Um, let's have a look at your tactics and have a little uh, idea of which tactic you might be using. Well, they're all balanced, so uh, I guess um, I guess you use four two three one in some regards. Low depth. You play Fatty at Cam, Sane one side, Costa the other side, Jean Felix up top, Kimmich and Lorente in at CDM. I mean, it's a really really nice squad, and you've obviously got a lot of uh, cool players as well. A lot of cool players, a lot of really good bench. That's the sort of team if I came up against, I'd be like, oh, we're going to be in in for a task here. You've also got a million coins in the bank, and you've played. Um, 300 and some odd games to have done most of the objectives mo well all of the relevant objectives anyway and i think that must be your level 30 that's waiting right yeah so you still got your level 30 reward there and for milestones as well i mean you've done you're pretty much at the, the level that everyone's at no, no draft and no co-op that means you don't even play draft at all not a single co-op game not a single draft game played that's very interesting so it's all rivals and champs and then in terms of your play tab, you're currently elite three squad battles. Fair enough. You are rank one in division rivals and you are 2000 skill rating. So you're div one, rank one. Very nice indeed. And foot champs, you're currently uh, languishing with about six or seven wins. Five wins. So uh, playing well in foot champs as well. Um, SBCs, as you said, you've done most of them. Friendlies. Let's have a look at what your friendlies record is. Uh, you can check the friendlies record now as well. If you go to the my playlist, boom, here's the friendlies. 81 wins, 48 losses. You lost one game, 17-1. That's crazy. Um, but again, another 100 odd games played in friendlies, which is uh, real nice. And then on your transfer list, you're obviously making money somehow. You've got a lot of coins for a poor man road to glory. You've got Florenzi's on the trade pile. I guess you uh, invested in them. Oh uh, yeah, you you do it. You're doing some smarts, man. You're doing some smarts. I love to see it. I really do. I'm not gonna give away the uh, trading technique. I don't. I think it would be. Uh, I think it'd be not very nice to give the exact. People people can infer what they want from what you've got, but to do what you've uh, done is uh, is a little bit more challenging. But I like that a lot. And so then, in terms of your club, uh, my man, let's go and have a look at. Uh, I mean, we've already like. 
really looked at most of what I want to see, to be fair. So unless unless you've got some red herring player here, you've got Ronaldo and Mbappe, very nice. Oyaza Bal in there as well, very nice. You've got Del Piero too, always a dub. Inform Jamie Vardy. Untra oh my, oh, you obviously used him for the goals and assists, grinds. fair enough. Um, Inform Eriksson, Kramaric, Molay. I mean, that is a, by all accounts, this is a quality club. In terms of I rate your club, this is, other than hitting elite in champs, maybe winning a draft, this is this is up there. This is There is not much more you can do with this. This is a banging club. I would genuinely rate this at like a 9, maybe a 9.2. Um, and uh, yeah, let's move on to account number two. All right, guys, on to account number two. My guy says he is a an elite two player with a 15 mil coin team and man he's not lying um so he's got a first owner or black a nelson Semedu wants to watch card obviously if he gets even one upgrade man he'll go to like 80 defending 80 physical he'll be so good um we've got a first owner tradable laurent blanc uh, now i'll ask you uh is it nathan is it is it nathan how much money have you spent on the account I'd be interested to know. A Laurent Blanc there. A tradable Lothar Mateus. Tradable Sergio Ramos. That Ramos card is nice. Uh, Ferland Mendy in there as well. A tradable Cristiano Ronaldo. That's an insane return of goals on him. You've played a lot of games of FIFA, man. Fair play. A tradable Zinedine Zidane. You've spent roughly £700. And do you know what? They're, they're, like People can make their own judgments from uh from how people spend their money right and first owner untradeable Mbappe is real nice and a first owner Neymar as well people can make their own judgments on how people spend spend their money and it's fair to say in any sense that spending 700 pounds on a video game is actually outrageous right but if that's your disposable income and that's what you get joy out of, fair enough. So what I'll say on the flip side, right, is that £700 for this team in terms of FIFA is actually not bad, which is such a horrible thing to say. I reckon a lot of people will spend £700 on FIFA and have nowhere near this kind of team. Um... So your team is brilliant. You've got a red Benzema, a red Depay, Werner ones to watch, Dybala and Salah and Naki Williams and Mukieli. Um, some really nice, really nice players in there. Um, let's have a look at your tactics for your uh, your Elite 2. So what are you playing? 4 triple 2 I guess. Balance, balance again. There's a lot. Of, like, balance seems to be the way forwards, doesn't it? So you've got Blanc, Ramos, Semedo and Mendy. In the back line, Zidane and Mateus at, C at CDMs. Eusebio and Ronaldo at strikers and Mbappe and Neymar um, at the cam spots, which is pretty cool. If not, you've got a 4-2-3-1. Again, balance and balance. Uh, a little lower on depth. And that can't be your actual team. So we'll ignore that because you've got Zinedine Zidane in the centre back there. Otherwise, you've got a 4-4-2 um, with Neymar and Mbappe on the wings. Zidane and Mateus in the middle. Ronaldo and Eusebio up front. So a couple of nice tactics there. And again, balance genuinely seems to be... You don't use a 4 2 run. Yeah, that uh, we gather. Balance, gen balance genuinely seems to be a good way forwards. In terms of objectives... Haven't, you haven't done the Silver Stars. You're working on Kunde, which is good. And pretty much everything else is fair enough. And uh, of course, we saw the, the milestone player there as well. Um, so you've done that. And then in terms of your rivals, you're only ranked four right now. You are 2,134 skill rating and you finish Elite 2. I really need to find a weekend where I'm going to be able to play all 30 games of FIFA on, on Foot Champs, man. Because um, my skill rating is around the 2070, 2100 mark when I'm not playing with people. And so I wish... I could give it a shot just to see where I'd get to. In terms of foot champs, you've got currently 10 wins. Last week, you got to 23 wins last week. So just Elite 3 last week, not quite the Elite 2, but still 
Uh, very nice indeed. Congrats on hitting Elite, of course. And in terms of your friendlies, always like to see the friendly stuff now. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting one for me. Um, in terms of friendlies, you have played... You've got 60... You've played bang on 90 games. 61 wins, 29 losses. Fair enough. Fair enough. You don't, you don't mind it, man. I love the fact that no matter... It seems like no matter what level people are at, whether they're elite level or gold level or what, it seems like people are still playing. Um, oh my days, that is a great, great draft record. 22 wins from 50 draft entries. Very nice indeed. I mean, look, you've got to lose some credibility for spending money on the game, right? In terms of I rate your club, right? With that being said, it is clear as day. Somebody's gone all in on our black for icon swaps and you know what? i respect it um it's clear as day you're a quality player because even like forget the team that you've got that you take into um weekend league and let's think about your draft record your draft record alone suggests that you're an absolutely brilliant player um yeah your team's insane yeah you've spent a bit of money on this account but hey like i say if you've got that disposable income and you're you know you're not hurting yourself financially by spending that money on the game you are free to spend your money as you wish you know so fair enough so other than the fact that you have spent money on the game everything i think people would love this account i think everything about this account is something that is brilliant and i'm going to give this a nine out of ten like it would have been a ten out of ten Aside from the fact, because you've got incredible first owner players and incredible team. Yeah, it would have been a 10 out of 10. Aside from the fact that you spent a bit of money on the game. Um, so two absolutely sensational accounts so far today. Let's move on to the third. All right, guys. On to account number three. This is a four-man road to glory. Did he say first owner? It might, I think this might be a first. No, it's not. Um, it was a objectives grind bronze pack method. Uh, road to glory so no thief points spent on this one he's got Mukieli in there uh ter stegen lauren kosielny with 129 games uh clement longley in there as well and furlan mendy uh is that first owner no oh it is first owner <laughs> he's got andre there not a bad card for 60k that's to be fair naki williams who is brilliant this year i'm a big fan of him which naki williams did he go for also for the dribbling Naki. Uh, Paulinho's in form for 150k. Do you know what? When he came out, he was extinct. Then they updated his price range and he went up to like 180. And then he came back down. If he is like, if he's still over 100k, that'd be like pretty legit. But he is such a good card. He's down to 94k now. That's crazy. Kingsley Coman in there as well with uh, some games on him. Anderson Talisca, obviously perfect links. Paulinho, which is so special about him. Ansu Fati with 190 games. Uh, and then a Gareth Bale on the bench. And other players on the bench, you've got Werner. So you've got Red Werner. That's super lucky, man. Look at that return as well. 83 games, 106 goals, 61 assists. He's got Morley. He's got the um, the MLS players. He's got Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, first owner as well, with a good return. Uh, and do you know what? What, I tell you what I love to see. I love to see the fact that you've got Carl Walker, pierre Emerick Aubameyang, Usman Dembele and Werner on the bench. I love the fact that you're using what, you know, quote-unquote fun players rather than quote-unquote meta players, um, which, is, which is really, really nice. So let's have a look at your tactics to see what you likely play. Maybe a couple of... Uh, and once again, it's just balanced. I love it. Williams and Talisker up front. Coman, Andre, Paulinho and Fatty. It's, it's, I mean, it is so refreshing to see how many people are just on balance and not on drop back. Andre, Paulinho there as well. Coman, Talisker, Fatty and Williams. And you've got a good, good tactic set up as well. I, I think I would personally suggest uh, to everybody that's watching this video to have exactly this tactic set up. Unless you're a big fan of another formation... Having 1442, 1423 and 1412 on two narrow is really good to, to change and adjust between them depending on how a game's going and what you need out of it and how your opponent's playing. I'm a big fan of that and I'm a big fan of the team. And the fact that my guy here 
has done this via a uh, bronze pack method um, is real nice. Only 200 games played in total. Um, and then if we have a look at the friendlies, have a look where you are in divisions. What uh, skill rating have you got? You're in division two with 1,860 skill rating, which is not bad. Foot champs. You know EA have got it all wrong when even the elite player only had 10 wins by now. The other guy had a cup two, what was it, five wins. This guy has three wins. People are playing foot champs at genuinely the last resort. People are playing it when everything else is done. And that for me is just wild. But all right, I've got my rivals done. I've got my objectives done. I've got this done. I've got that done. I can't look at his friendlies, unfortunately. Um, now I'm going to play foot champs. That's crazy to me. You've won one draft out of eight attempts. Fair enough. At least you've won one. You can uh, knock that one off. And then in terms of your transfers, as you said, you did a lot of bronze pack method. And uh, you've got some golds on there. I don't really have much on your trade pile, to be fair. So I would start bronze pack methoding a bit more if I were you as well. And then, yeah, you don't really have much all else in the club other than what we've seen. A Robert Firmino there. Uh, Gomez in there as well. The UCL version. James Rodriguez there. Nice. Um, yeah, Bojan, of course, we've seen. Matuidi in there too. A lot of uh, a lot of players. A, a red Zal Pedro as well. That red Christian Teo too. Hey, man, you know what? This is a nice club, man. I, I think, obviously, in terms of skill, coins... First owner players and such, not not quite on the level of the two players, uh, two teams, two squads, two clubs. Wow, two clubs that we've just seen. But all in all, I I even think a club like this is a club that a lot of people would be very very envy envious of. Um, wait, why has his team name changed from Nep is my dad to Rouge? Um, yeah, I think a lot of people would be envious of the club. I, I think this is a quality quality account looks like not a penny spent lots of cool players plays lots of fifa uh, i'm gonna give this i'm gonna give this an eight out of ten you know could be hiring uh rivals hiring champs maybe one a few more drafts a couple more like really big first owner players would be uh super nice but yeah this uh, this is a solid eight let's move on to uh the next account all right guys the next club says he's got four million coin team with zero pounds spent and so, I suppose if you factor in Rashford's actual price rather than the fact that he's red, he's got Loris, Carl Walker, who is brilliant, Gomez, who is brilliant, Varane, who I haven't used, but is probably brilliant and is untradeable first owner, very nice indeed, and uh, Furlan Mendy, who is brilliant, uh, Lucas, untradeable as well, Alan tradable 234 games, I don't blame you, but he is absolutely sensational again this year. My guy's got a first owner, untradeable Neymar. 257 games on him with a great return of goals and assists as well. Thomas Partey for 88k. That is a bargain price for him, man. You've uh, done well with that. And then Rivaldo uh, that you picked up for 537k. Decent uh, goals and assists on him. High low work rates. This is a card for me that I just... Do you know what I look at when I look at this? Do you know what I see when I see this? I see French Zidane. I see th these stats being good, very well rounded, but not exceptional to the point where I'd pay 500,000 coins for him. That's for sure. And then Marcus Rashford, red card, brilliant. 118 games, 162 goals, 66 assists. Very nice indeed. Then on the bench, Dybala, player of the month, though, you are as Forsberg, uh, special SBC as well. Bellarabi and Anaki Williams, SBC. Denier, SBC. Mukieli, Thiago Silva, Rodriguez. Albert Lewin, Jota, and Tonali. Do you have any games on Rodriguez? 19 games, 29 goals, 44 assists. Probably a bit of squad battles in there. I like the squad. I do. I hate the badge, but I like the squad. And then we have got ourselves long ball, press, long ball, balance, balance, press, balance, press. So a 5 2 2 1 ultra defensive. Probably a 4 2 3 1 uh, general formation. Neymar, Rivaldo, Lucas, and Rashford up front. Allen and Party. Into the CDM roles. It's a nice squad. Um, it is a nice squad. And then a 4 triple 2 as well. With Rivaldo and Lucas out wide. Rashford and Neymar up front. See that is a great attack. That is Neymar and Rashford up front together. Are just fantastic. And again. 
no drop back. You love to see it. You can't say it. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't personally think this is a four mil team. I, I think it's closer to like, what's name I like? One mil, one half a mil. Rashford's like, like it, this is probably closer to like a two to two and a half mil team. Um, but if you if you also factor in everything on the bench, it, it would be getting there. I don't think it's quite four million coins, but it would definitely be getting there. Um, so uh, yeah, m m maybe it's closer to three mil than it is four mil, um, but it's certainly up there. In terms of uh, everything else you've got going on, you are gold three in squad battles. Man, I, I played to top 100 squad battles last week. I can't do it again, man. It's just, it's annoying. You're in division three with 1,672 skill rating and uh, your foot champs, you're currently silver two. So you're currently on nine wins. So this is the fourth account and not a single person has played more, well, got to more than 10 wins so far, which is just crazy to me. And then in terms of friendlies, I think I didn't see the MLS players uh, there for you. We're going to have a look in a second. You've got 21 wins and 47 losses. Look, look at those silver lounge. 03, 03, 03, 03. Do you just quit when you see a team you don't like? <laughs> hey, man, fair play if you do. Uh, 21 wins. Um, so you probably don't have too much by way of the uh, the objective players. Let's go ahead and have a look at your objectives. And I think in that regard, I think that definitely like reduces massively the uh, value of the club. Yeah, no Kunde, no no Mole, no Silver Stars, no Life Foot Friendlies or Co-op and Conquer. You uh, you haven't got the MLS players yet, and in terms of season progress, you are almost at level thirty, which is fair enough. You have played like three hundred and fifty games, so obviously a lot of champs and rivals. What about some online draft as well? Is there anything in here? Three entries, one win. I respect that. I respect that greatly. That is very nice indeed. Um, and then let's have a look at your transfer list. So for this account, guys, is this a, an account that I think people would be envious of? I mean, with some of the big players, yes. People would love a first owner Neymar, sure. Um, people would love all of these SBC cards. People would love a Marcus Rashford and a first owner uh, Varane, sure. In terms of the rest, in terms of other than the first owner players, there's not a lot about this club that makes me go, oh, this is like a big one. Page three, I'm already on to 83 rated cards. I think you have won a draft. You're only in division three, so there's a lot of improvement there. You could do it way more on objectives, get way more objective cards for sure. You have got a nice squad, but you don't really have that many coins in the bank. I think for me, this, this is definitely the worst club that we've seen so far today. Um, even though the team it has good value, I would probably rate this club at like a seven because there's a lot of good on this club, but there's also a lot of improvement for this club as well. Lots of things that you can do to immediately just enhance the overall allure of the club, so to speak. So let's get on to the fifth and final club for today. All right, guys, to end off with, we're on Owen's account. It's a week old road to glory. As you can see by the record there, not a lot going on in terms of games. Now, Owen is a master grinder, um, better than master baiters, um, but he is a master grinder. Last year, he was the official uh, Sudlib grind world champion, actually. Um, he says he started it last Saturday. Let's have a look at what team he's rocking. Okay, and so what I love about this, right? Obviously, he doesn't have Kunde in there, but what I love about this is this shows you guys what you can achieve in a week. He's got the three MLS players. He's got the French Zidane. He's got Mukieli, Dembele, Party, Lorente, and Fati. Super, super team. Super team. Uh, obviously, we know he doesn't have too many games or, on the players and not a lot else on the bench. Salvio, Martinez, and Rudiger, uh, who I don't know if he's who he's been playing here. Um, but for a one-week-old account straight away, that is a nice team. Really, really nice. And I love the fact that just in general you can get a strong i don't want to say like meta team because it's not but competitive team you can still do bits you know i love the fact that that's available in such a short amount of time now let's have a look at if uh owen's playing uh squad battles to rank one 
in rivals you are division four with a 1400 skill rating i don't assume you've qualified for champs yet you haven't so no champs uh rewards on here obviously this account is like you know a two out of ten right the the, the purpose of the account wasn't to show um some insane club it was more to show here's what you guys can achieve in a short amount of time should you want to and uh what's crazy is you've played over 100 uh friendly games 49 wins 57 losses but friendlies you know it doesn't really make any difference um you don't really have a lot else going on in the club but just all i would say is that what i like is if you started this last saturday i'm currently recording this on saturday so within seven days you've got these three super players with great chem styles you've got Molay, who's brilliant Mukieli, who's brilliant you're working on kunde you've got usman dembele who's super meta arty and lorente super meta and ansu fatty who wasn't cheap as far as an sbc goes and he's already in your club as well so yeah no custom tactics because it's a uh a copy squad but yeah just generally quite brilliant and uh very nice with uh with regards to a one week old account and all you need for the last one is to assist in one more game and then that also gets you the kunde card as well so there you go yeah one game away um so that guys will be the last account for today if you did enjoy my rate your club my rate your club i rate your club <laughs> um uh, leave a like on the video if you want more let me know in the comment section below if you want to get involved in it make sure you're with me on facebook fb.gg slash nepentez link is down below but for now guys this is going to be the end of the video thank you for watching and i'll see you next time i'm out peace